Let's begin with Paul Hennessy from GeoGuides. Okay, Paul, well done. Thank you very much. Um, very much. So there are basically two. My question is, you know, the typical type of Irish question that has about 100,000 little questions wrapped up in one big one. All right. Um, but basically, we talked, the uh, judging panel we discussed before we came on, and there were two broad areas that we'd like to know a little bit more about. Um, so the first thing is, what we'd like to know a little bit more about your product or service. What exactly is it? Is it a product? Is it a service? Is it a piece of technology? And how does that differentiate from what's out there? Because obviously, there is, it's a crowded space. There's lots of free products sure. coming on board, et cetera. So that's the first thing we'd like to understand. OK. Uh, and then the second element is, how are you going to make money? What's the revenue model? Um, and how much money are you going to make? Lots. <laughs> so over to you. So if you'd like to split them up into two, maybe. OK, I'll t I think I'll take the question in terms of the product. First of all, it's a, um, we have what we call a, a mobile content distribution platform. Uh, and our vision is to connect people products, tourism products, with uh, smartphone users. So the real unique piece of patented and innovative technology we have is to be able to point your smartphone at an object and be presented with information about it. So is, is that a Google Goggles type No, thing? no, not at all. It's an actual, it's a piece of software. Every smartphone has two sensors, the GPS and the compass. So using that and our innovative technology, we can, we can tell you, we can figure out where you are and what you're looking at and what's around you in a really innovative, in an innovative way. Uh, we don't require to be able to see it, so our technology can see through buildings. Google Goggles, for example, you need to take a picture of something and that picture goes up the internet, does a matching and comes back down. Our technology is a lot more efficient in that it can actually work without being connected to the internet. So we have some really clever technology. So from a, a tourism perspective, People can come and use the technology to explore their surroundings, but not suffer from roaming shock, which, you know, having gone around the world uh, presenting the software, you can come back with a significant bill of, for example, get back from South Africa with a bill of 900 euros using mobile internet connection. But we, can, we could do some clever stuff in making that very, very efficient. Okay. And then who pays and how much money are you going to make? How does that work? Yeah, we have a, we have a business model in terms of so the, the, the organization who wants to make their content mobile, for example, tourism organizations around the world have some fantastic content on their websites. Their challenge is to make that content mobile in a really relevant fashion. So it's about being able to make their content relevant. So what we do is we enable that same very good content content that feeds their website, we enable that in the mobile channel. So we're like the plumbing, we're like the railroad. So our technology enables the tourism organizations to design and publish their own branded mobile application. So suddenly now mobile is just another channel like the web, like print. But is that not happening already anyway? No, it's not. Uh, what's happening is that you have the likes of um, other, say the likes of Lair, Google, they aggregate people's content. So say for example, Dublin Tourism, who are a customer of ours, they now have their own brand because they have their own branded mobile app. So they can create the user experience from their own brand and not just hand their data over to another brand. So they can start, the whole thing is, the mission is in terms of being able to inform, influence, interact, and transact. Because at the end of the day, okay. that's what you want to Just do. Just in terms of time, uh, what's your relationship with Dublin Tourism and the application they put out there? Yeah, Dublin Tourism uh, were our first customer this year. Okay. They deployed. And what percentage of phones, mobile phones, are smartphones? Uh, every smart, 87 of the phones that are purchased in the Western world today are smart. In well, usage, no, that, how many phones operational are smartphones? Are smartphones around 45 percent currently? Currently. But the, the okay. curve is like that in terms of adoption. And any concluding remarks? Uh, other than it's, when you think about this technology, being able to point at something and get some information about it, where our vision is to be able to point and click to be able to phone that person, point and click to download some information, make a booking, or actually purchase something. So that's, that's, a powerful, that's the power of that actual gesture, but being able to interact with products around you and make that very, very intuitive. 